Exposed to wildfire smoke may seem like part of the job. However, the risks are higher than you might expect, and here's why. Wildfire smoke is a mix of hazardous gases, liquid droplets, and very fine particles. What causes the most severe health impacts are particles that are less than 2.5 microns in diameter. These particles are usually referred to as PM 2.5. Here's why they can be problematic. The size of the particle determines how deep it can get into your lungs. The smallest particles are those that are less than 4 microns, which are respirable, meaning they're tiny enough to get into the alveoli of the deep lung. We can't work these out very easily, and depending on the particle type, some we can't work out at all. Exposure to these fine particles can result in a range of issues, like coughing and phlegm, difficulty breathing, reduced lung function, aggravated asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as COPD. In terms of bigger risks, anytime you put additional stress on the lungs, it causes additional stress on the heart, so it increases the risk of heart attacks and other heart conditions. The point is, there are serious risks to working in areas where your exposure to wildfire smoke is high. Let's talk about how to know when the risk is high. The first thing we need to talk about is how smoky is too smoky. It helps to get real-time reports on the local air quality. You can do this using airnow.gov and searching by the nearest town or zip code to your job. There, you should be able to see the air quality index. Here are the numbers you need to remember. At an air quality level of 69 or less, it's safe for most people. If you're at a 69 or above, it's considered an air quality hazard. And at this point, you want to make sure that the crew understands the risks and how to reduce their exposures, as well as offer respirators on a voluntary basis. Once the air quality gets up to 151 or higher, it's considered a serious risk. In these conditions, you need to take safety precautions. And this could be done by using an N95 respirator, locating to a less smoky area until conditions improve. If you're doing physically demanding work and you're gonna breathe harder, this will increase the quantity of smoke you inhale. So it's a good idea to reduce the duration of work or delay it until the conditions are better. Stay in the cab of the vehicle as much as possible. Shift work outside of the cab to hours in the day where the smoke is less severe. and do your best to make accommodations for members of the crew who may be at higher risk than others. So now that you know why smoke is hazardous and what you can do about it, here are symptoms you need to be aware of. Asthma attacks, difficulty breathing, chest pain, and respiratory irritation. If you've tried to protect your lungs but are still struggling with symptoms, make changes to reduce your exposure. Remember, wildfire smoke is temporary, but your lungs are a permanent fixture. So make sure to do the changes that you need to to take good care of them. <laughs>